Upper West, Joe's East Coast car shop on Center Street was destroyed yesterday. Investigators now think they know what caused that fire. And a shaken neighborhood is trying to get back to normal. Cody Holyoke is live in River West with the new details. Cody. Well, guys, I can tell you the building is boarded up. The fire line, fire scene tape still here. Scene closed off, even though the fire, the initial reports from the fire department suggest an accident sparked this blaze. It's not just the auto shop in this building. It also contains art galleries and apartments. And today, residents are still being turned away. It was um, upstairs. It was on the second floor. Artists Oliver Sweet and Lisa Fluhoff are left with a number of questions, wondering if their living space is still intact following a fierce five alarm fire. What is this like for you to, to, to see this? It's pretty surreal. I don't know if it's totally sunk in or not. The blaze affected a number of apartments and art galleries here on the east side of the building. Residents aren't being allowed to survey the damage. For now, the doors are locked. Only the building's owners have ventured inside. It's got to be frustrating because you can see your window and. Right. And we don't know if we should go ahead and start planning on getting new clothes and everything. Investigators believe the fire to be an accident after a mishap inside Joe's auto repair. I don't think there's much left of the car. Steve Schutze drove to the scene to see if he could spot his stepdaughter's Mazda, said to be inside the building when the fire ignited. I think she's a little freaked out. She's just, you know, she had, she owed money in the car and She's just trying to figure out what to do next. So are the people who lived and worked here. The burned building and business was a neighborhood anchor. No word from owners on repair plans. No word for residents either. The Red Cross spent the afternoon getting a head count as the scene stays closed. They've got a lot of stuff to sort out, so we'll just hang tight and be ready to check it out when they're ready. I spoke with a group of artists just a moment ago. They came by the scene and told me they hope to be allowed inside as early as late tonight or even tomorrow, but we've heard some estimates they may not be in till next week. Another thing here, some of the tenants did not have renter's insurance. That's another curveball as people here just simply try to move on. On your side, live on Milwaukee's River West neighborhood, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4.